Welcome today we will learn about the most important and fundamental sorting algorithm that is named as bubble sort. This is the simplest sorting algorithm that can be used to sort out small data set. This is not very useful to sort large data set or large data set values because its time complexity is much more high when we use it for large scale data sets. So before going to the practical implementation, its implementation in C++, we have a animation demonstration of bubble sort that is developed and designed by binary visuals and also available in instms.com. Okay, here is the animation of uh, to understand the basic philosophy and workflow of bubble sort. So let's seek out different options available in this application. We have an application option that is called random seed. We use this application. After clicking on the random seed option, it populates 15 memory location or elements by random value. We can use it random seed again and again to populate it with different values so we can uh, analyze the result of the bubble sort uh, with respect different values in sorted, unsorted, ascending and descending order. So let's start uh, quickly by using the simulation option to sort out this set data set in ascending order. Okay, click on sort option. Now we will have to monitor how this algorithm is working. I have to clear that in bubble sort, sorting algorithm compare always start from comparing two adjacent values in each and every pass. Normally we use nested loop for this entire purpose. It compare adjacent values. If these values are not in proper order, then it will swap out, swap in these values to put it in proper order. We will have to implement the same philosophy and same algorithm in our program solution that will be done using C++. We have to fast it, its workflow so we can see the sorting algorithm work. Now we can view the sorting algorithm is working perfectly and after the completing of entire passes the resultant data set is sorted using the bubble sort. We can also do it again and again using the random seed. This is the random seed. Next I have to show you how the sorting algorithm using fast uh, simulation. Okay, start it again. This is comparing to adjacent values. If this are, these values are not in proper order, then it will be swapped these values. Otherwise, the order is, order will be the same. Okay, we'll go it to the fast. This is a sorting. Now we have to view the sorted values are green labeled. We can also sort it again using the descending order. Okay, this is doing the best. Okay, stop it. Now we have to implement the following algorithm that is displaying here in the application. We have to use two nested loops. This can be also helpful topic uh, uh, available on instams.com bubble sort using C++. These are the Okay, now we will start its practical implementation using Dev C++. So first of all, we are creating new project using Dev C++. As multiple times we have discussed before, we have to create new project using file new option. New, we have to create here project using console application. We will have to select C++ project. Let's suppose we are typing here the name BB for the bubble sort. We are saving the project. The default line of codes are written here. As multiple times we have discussed before, we have to write here using namespace. For the usage of C out and standard C in statements. Here I am going to write down, before writing down the bubble sort method, I am saving my project baby named as maybe for the compilation and execution process dev c++ uh, and force that our c++ file must be saved before compilation and execution i am writing here the bubble sort method so we can use it multiple time for and for for our sorting data here i am naming a bubble sort the first parameter of the bubble sort I am taking here as array and second parameter as n that will be the size of the array 
in bubble sort method i have to implement the same logic i have discussed before that is also mentioned in the visuals or animation of the bubble sort we have to use nested loop for the iteration or sorting method i am introducing here int ij these are the two counter variables that will be helpful or used in our nested loop these are the counter variables now i am writing down the outer loop that is that will start from the zero or starting first element of the data set or array and go through the n minus one why i'm writing here n minus one we can also write i is zero i is less than n why we are writing n minus one because the nth element or last element will be automatically sorted after sorting out the complete array here i am writing down the i plus plus in outer loop inner loop statements will be go here that will be start same as j is equal to zero j is less than n minus i minus one here this statement also required some explanation that absolutely i will explain here we are starting from the first element for the sorting process and go through n minus i while we are deducting or minusing i from the nth entire space or data sets because as we can see in visuals i have to again sort it the last 9 1 11 23 20s here is the i lies so that we have to not go through the entire data set again and again the last data set values will be automatically sorted for the next outer loops iteration okay in inner loop we have to compare the adjacent values as we can also see in the demonstration okay we are comparing adjacent values i have to slow down this process in proper order adjacent comparing adjacent value we have to implement the same logic we are comparing arj if arj is greater than arj plus 1 this will sort the data set in ascending order if we write down here the less than operator relational operator then it will sort out the data in descending order then this will also be practically implemented in the same video session i will see you okay if this is not then we are introducing we have to also introduce here the temp variable that will be the much more helpful for swapping process swapping the in proper order values we will assign arj to the temp variable and arj will be equal to arj plus one and uh, similar formula for the swapping arj plus one will be the equivalent to temp okay this three line of code are already discussed in our video lectures that are available on the youtube and c plus plus basic program fundamental examples you can see here these are lines discussed in detail in that video lecture not uh, required again and again to discuss these lines of codes how these are working okay i have to zoom out the code this is the complete line of code that are required to sort out any data set array simply can say array using bubble sort mechanism or method the logic lies here for the swapping of improper order values as we can see here we have to some uh, fast this process we are adjusting the adjacent value comparing the adjacent value if these are not in here we can see that the why we use i am j minus i minus one because we have to not sort out the again already sorted values okay in min function we have to introduce an array that we will pass to the method we say that int array is equal to we can write down here any uh, random values i am writing here 95 50 97 55 12 let's suppose 98 33 67 17 and 49 etc after writing or initializing this is also called initialization of array we are assigning the value to array at the time of its declaration we are also declaring here a variable that is called 
i this will also used as a counter variable for printing the value of array i am simply writing here the message array values before sorting this will display array values before sorting i have to write down here a simple loop i am quickly writing down the loop for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i i plus plus what will be the n here i have to uh, write down the formula for calculating the n value i am writing here int n n is the size of the array what will the size size means referring to the elements number of elements in the array i am writing here n is equal to size of array this is the complete memory location occupied by the array dividing by the size of single element of the array this is the formula for uh, finding out let's suppose this is the first element of the array this formula is uh, also required some kind of explanation this formula is normally used to get the size of the parameterized or input array this size this will return the number of elements that array hold okay now we are going to forward to print this array we have to just write down here see out array and its index i and printing here some kind of space for the beautification of the output after printing we are writing down here endl manipulator this same line of code we are required to print or display the array after sorting method call of the sorting method we will write down here after sorting in between these line of codes output codes i have to call the bubble sort method bubble sort and pass it array and size of array okay saving the project let compile and execute the code okay we can see here the code is compiled successfully and the result of compiled code after calling the bubble sort method the array is in sorted order or the data set is in sorted order this is a sorted array and this is unsorted array we can see here the bubble sort swaps each and every individual adjacent elements in proper order we can also set greater than symbol to the less than symbol for sorting this data set in descending order. This order is called ascending order in which values are uh, gradually uh, greatening from the previous value. So let's check how this algorithm will be converted into descending order. We can simply have to change greater than symbol to the less than symbol then the resultant will be the in descending order we can see here now the arrays that are sorted using the bubble sort are in descending order this is the actual array that contains the element 95 97 55 12 etc and after calling the bubble sort method in descending order array is a such like of this 98 97 67 and the last nth element is 12 the actual line of codes of for the bubble sort lies here which contains the three line of code for swapping adjacent values to keep the data set in proper order so thanks for keep watching this video or uh, attending this entire session for understanding proper understanding of the bubble sort in next session we will go through or discuss selection sort how selection sort works with the help of uh, graphics and animation and we'll take a little bit comparison about selection sort and bubble sort in our next lecture so keep in touch subscribe our channel for latest updates and latest coding algorithms and mechanism and techniques uh, regarding C++ and Visual Basic. So nice. Thank you.